Hey guys, what's up? This is Vishir and you're watching Nick's AP. Caffeine is one of the most popular stimulant in the world and it is taken in the form of coffee most popularly. So, taking coffee has a good and a bad side to it. Coffee contains caffeine and caffeine can make you not sleep. Caffeine is used by people to wake up in the morning. It is used to keep people energized throughout the day and some people use it to skip their sleep. So how do you think caffeine helps you skip your sleep? A substance known as adenosine is produced by the neurons of your body. So when the level of adenosine is low, your body thinks that you need sleep, you need rest and you start to sleep when the adenosine levels go below a particular point. But what does caffeine do? It mimics the action of adenosine and binds the specific receptors of adenosine. So this tricks your brain to think that there is much of adenosine and you don't need rest. So this is the reason why you don't get adequate sleep when you drink too much of coffee. Long time coffee drinkers experience a phenomenon known as tolerance. Which means for a person who's taking coffee for the first time, even one or two cups is enough for him to stay away from sleep. But a person who has been taking it for a very long period of time may require as much as five to six or seven cups of coffee to have the effects of caffeine on him. So when the tolerance builds up, there can be a type of withdrawal symptoms when the person stops coffee. A person who has been taking coffee for a very long period of time in a higher quantity than which is normal, the person experiences withdrawal symptoms when he does not take it. He experiences anxiety, headache and so on. So taking coffee for a very long period of time and exceeding the normal limits can be dangerous to your health. You may not get enough sleep, you may have the withdrawal symptoms such as headaches and anxiety and so on. So next time you take coffee, better think about how much of coffee you're going to take and limit the amount of coffee you take. There is a substitute to coffee that you can take, which is known as decaffeinated coffee. So caffeine is the compound that has the effects that decreases sleep that can have withdrawal symptoms that can produce tolerance and so on. So in decaffeinated coffee, the caffeine component of coffee is removed. So you have the taste of coffee, but the effects of caffeine are eliminated. That's it guys. If you like the video, do subscribe to Nick's Sapien. This is Vicky signing off.